During the past 12 years, our Land Schwartz has introduced us to a wide variety of talented artists. But somehow, he keeps on finding more unique artists to share with us. Lance joins us now with the story in the latest edition of Lance's Journal. Hey, Lance. That's right, guys. I don't know how I do it. It's a, a lot of it is because I get all these people that give me great ideas, but I have met some so noteworthy Nebraskans, just like Eric Beal. He was born in Lexington, and he spent much of his youth working at his dad's feedlot just north of Kearney. Growing up, he ran track and showed cattle in 4-H. He was interested in a lot of different things, but never art. Kind of funny how life works out sometimes. Caddy Corner from the beautiful Johnson County Courthouse in Tecumseh, you'll find the Johnson County Medical Center. It's also where you'll find an impromptu art gallery. This painting, this image was given to me by uh, Sarah, uh, who is Debbie's daughter. Eric Beal never claimed yes. to be an artist. He was scrolling through things and this image of the angel came up. He's had no formal training and he was 49 years old the first time he picked up a brush. And then this is the Lord's Supper I just started a while back. Eric's inspirational mother passed away two years ago. The day of her funeral I drove home back to Lincoln, drove in the garage and thought I need to, I need to paint. He put some cardboard on plywood and laid it on two sawhorses. Started painting and just had some images of sky and color and all that kind of stuff, and that's where it started. And where it's led from there over the past two years is truly a thing of beauty. My mom was very um, bright, boisterous, um, just no nonsense. She's what fuels this, you know, along with God's Spirit. But I know she, there are times when I do this and I, I cry, cause I just, I know she's there. Um, and I wish she could see it. I really do. Debbie Schultz is a big fan of Eric and his art. He paints from the heart. He paints from prayer. He paints from the spirit that's within him. This 1983 graduate of Kearney High School becomes mesmerized in his art. When I'm doing my painting, I really have to pay attention because I just, I get lost in it. And um, it's very much a form of prayer for me. And with that knowledge, it probably won't surprise you to find out that Eric is also known around Tecumseh and Steiner as Pastor Beal. Gave you thanks. And oh yes, this renaissance man of sorts is also a musician and a writer. At 50 years of age, preaching at two country churches, Maple Grove and Salem, it's right where Eric was meant to be. I ran from the farm thinking I'd discover myself and what has happened is that I've realized um, I'll never leave the farm in um, rural life. This is, uh, really reflects the beauty of my soul, it really does. What a guy, he's a pastor, he's a musician, he's a writer and as you could plainly see, he's a talented artist. And if you'd like to have a piece of Eric's art from the heart, just go to the Lance Journal page at 1011now.com and I'll show you how to make it happen. And what a pleasure it was to meet this multifaceted guy. He's a, he's a great guy and he just proves to me once again what's good about this great life we have in Nebraska. All these talented people that do a wide variety of things. It, right. it was hard for me to not just get a little emotional myself listening to the way he's talking about his mother and the way right. he talks about how he pours that emotion into the paintings that he puts together. Yeah. True inspiration. He has it every time he grabs that brush. Awesome. And it's awesome to have you back. Well, it's good <laughs> to be back. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lance. We'll be back to update your forecast next.